I'm in Windows 11, and I'm going to show you how to use multiple monitors. I'm going to click on the Windows button and type in Remote Desktop, and then click Open. Now, before you click the Connect button, I'm going to click on Show Options and click on Display. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure this box is checked for use all my monitors for the remote session. Now, I do want to show you one thing, though. If you uncheck this box, it allows you to window or make smaller windows of your remote desktop session. But as soon as you check this box, then that ability goes away. You can no longer make that change. It's going to be full screen all the time. Now, I get asked all the time, what about the computer on the other end? if it has multiple monitors? And the answer is it doesn't matter. What it does is it condenses all the applications into whatever is your primary monitor. So when you get back to the office or whatever your computer you're remoting into and you log into it, you'll notice that all your applications are only open on your primary monitor. No big deal, just spread out your applications once again, you're good to go. All right, so now I'm going to log into this computer using the multiple monitors. And although you won't be able to see this, I'm now going to see my remote desktop spread out over three monitors. So I can move things uh, to other places if I want to. So for instance, I have a remote desktop session going on into a different session. I can now move this to a different uh, window if I'd like to. So there it is, say I'm moving it up there and I can see it spread out on all my different connections. Now you may ask, what if I have an older computer, older than Windows 11 or Windows 10, what do I do then? Well, what you can do is you can right click and choose run and type in MSTSC, which is the uh, shortcut command to get into remote desktop. And then you do a forward slash span. And what that does is it will automatically span your um, monitors just the same way that this does right here. But it does it on operating systems that are older than Windows 10 that don't have this uh, use all my monitors for the remote session option. So things like Windows XP, uh, I'm not sure about Windows 7, uh, you know, some older operating systems, uh, you can still do the same thing if you just type that command. And that will do it. Feel free to ask any additional questions or let me know your comments. This is how you set up multiple monitors on remote desktop using Windows 11. And it also works on Windows 10.